All right, YouTube Mason, so what's going on? It's Matt Candy Course. We're on a happy June 3rd, happy Monday. A big day for Muck Gamers as Julio Jones, Champ Bailey, and Alan Page all got cards. I don't want to make too much of a long video for you guys. I know other YouTubers are making videos too. Just let me give you guys my honest spin, okay? Let me give you guys my spin from my angle. So, again, there are no objectives, okay? So, there are no objectives. So, today, you know, today, Log on, do your daily objectives, win some more games for your Series 7 multiplayer, get more career stats, uh, keep, you know, keep going at it for your team captains and for your loyalty tokens. I would go for all 16, man. Go for all 16 because getting all 16 tokens and then all 10 rookie premieres, once the rookie premieres drop, that's the biggest thing you can do and doing Mutt Master because apparently the, apparently the Mutt Master token has something for next year. So those three things are the biggest thing you can do for next year's head start, okay? Um, no new objectives, no new packs, okay? But there are some new solos. There are 13 solos. They are, they're not that quick. They are three minute quarters, probably around four minutes per solo. So four times 13, you are looking at around maybe an hour. So 50 minutes, probably 50 minutes. If you do it the least time possible, 50 or 45 minutes, still pretty long. Okay. So you do get a bunch of tokens, not really coins, just tokens for the token set for the program stars. Um, here are what the cards are looking at right now. Um, again, I don't want to go and make a long video for you guys because everyone else is making a video about this. There's really no reason to have a long video over this. I mean, if you want to keep analyzing and analyzing and analyzing, go for it. Um, I did have a stream this morning. Thanks for joining the stream if you joined me this morning. Um, but right now, the cards are dropping a little bit. So most of them are around 370. So most of them are 370 or 380, which is pretty expensive considering that position heroes were 250, 200, and then maybe some rare ones like 300, like the kickers or whatever. Um, even the kicker and punters, they dropped to 200 flat at one point. These should drop as well. I just don't know how much they'll drop because they are pretty expensive, folks. So, again, here are all the cards. I don't want to go over all of them, but here are the stats for all of them. Um, Champ Bailey, again, a really nice card. The only problem with him, in my opinion, is height. So, he is, he is pretty small. His jump's pretty low. His press is pretty low. But everything else, of course, is good. He fits on a lot of theme teams, Redskins and Broncos, and that's pretty nice, okay? Alan Page is a must-cop. Um, when you compare him against John Randall, I mean, again, Randall's, Randall is powered up. I'm not, but he does have plus three speed. I have him already powered up right there for you guys. So he does have, um, we'll go over the max card in a little bit, but very, very nice card, man. I'm really glad I got a card. Julio Jones, I really think that the route running is pretty low for the best route runner in the league, I think. He really runs. He runs the corner routes and the out routes the best in the NFL. Even a nice sharp slant in the NFL. Very hard to guard. Um, I think Odell and Moss and Rice and Brown, I think they're all 99s. They're all the best right now. Um, why? Because almost every stat is a 99 and they can spin. Julio can spin too um, with like what? What's his spin? He has like 84 spin, but if you put zone run on him, you're good. And then John Madden, you're good. Trust me, you can spin, okay, I think. So, um, Mr. Schwartz, right tackle, again, the big thing between him and Ramchek, I'll get Ramchek because Ramchek has plus two strength and then plus five speed. So, plus five speed, plus two strength. The things that Schwartz win in are not really that important. Because Ramchek, I think Ramchek gets those to a 99 or close to a 99 anyway. So I'll take the plus 5 speed. Plus, he's cheaper. Keep that in mind. These players, even though, you know, even though, oh, you know, maybe Schwartz is better, but he's also double the price of uh, double the price of Ramchek. So keep that in mind as well. Tyron Smith, the strength is pretty low. Actually, no, it's the opposite. He has really high strength, but 
Um, the speed, he has plus one speed, plus six agility, or plus five agility. Um, so, better excel, too. So, I think that Tyron Smith is better. But, again, Villanueva is literally just a sliver worse. If not, he's actually better. Pretty much the same card, though. So, theme team, go with Smith, but everything else. I mean, I really like Villanueva, man, okay? Um, we're not going over all the cards. I mean, I, I mean, I might end the video soon. Just going over some of the cards here. Um, the catching is so low in this card. The agility is so low. Um, not a bad card, but just, you know, um, Ricky and Chris Johnson are just so good. So if you want Fournette, go for him. You know, you, you, you're really a fan of him. Go for it. Stafford, he's very slow. It's just theme team. Theme team or you're a big fan of him. Um, no reason to really get him, in my opinion. Brandon Graham, same thing. Theme team or bust. 83 speed is just not going to cut at this point of the year. Trust me, too slow. Maybe he is glitchy, man. But again, just too slow, in my opinion. Suggs, same thing. Yeah, yeah, he has 99 everything, man. But so does Lawrence Taylor, almost. Plus, Lawrence Taylor has a like plus 10 speed. So, plus 10 speed. I mean, shut up, man. Jack Tatum goes down as the worst card, 99, um, really, for this promo. When you compare him against Ryan Lott or even Sean Taylor, probably Ryan Lott, right? Lott has plus two speed, okay? But, 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 but mine's not powered up, so really plus one speed, right? So plus one speed, the Excel don't matter. It's both 99. Tackling don't matter. Secure tackler. Play rack don't matter. They're, they're probably both 99 player rack with powered up John Madden. Pursuits both 99. I win man coverage. I win zone coverage. We're tied in hit power. What What is better for Jack Tatum? So Ronnie Lott, he's cheaper. Um, I would get him. But that's just me. If you want Lot or if you want Tatum, um, they both have Legends Chem. I don't know, man. Go for it. Jimmy Graham is very nice. Um, is he really glitchy though? I don't know because I, you know, Gronk, Gronk was supposed to be glitchy with the high point, but um, I don't know, man. I mean, I mean, I already have Gronk minus one inch for for high point, and then Kittle is just speed cheese. So. I mean, I already have my tight ends, but he's good. I mean, he's not trash, right? And then that's all that's up. There is Micah Hyde as well. He is actually pretty good besides hit power. There are a lot of good cards, guys. Let me tell you guys what I did for my... Here are the sets, guys, by the way. Um, or set, okay? Um, just tokens. They give you tokens for free. It is repeatable. I think the set's worth it if you want one of the cards. Because they give you, I think, four silvers for free. So they already give you four or five silvers from solos. Then you only need four left. You probably have four in your binder. If not, they're cheap anyway. Golds, same thing. They give you four for free. Then you need five. You probably have them in your binder for free already. So then it comes down to elites. They give you two for free. That leaves you 10 elites. Since the elites go for like maybe like 15, 15, 20K each, you can probably do the set for around 200K, 200K. If you have snipes, like maybe like 150, you guys know what I'm saying? So you guys can make a lot of coins on this set regardless. You can do it once, especially if you do the solos and you already have binder cards already. So, I mean, I'm not doing it till later, but here's Alan Page, man. Here's what he looks like in the lineup. Um, very awesome. 91 speed. Legends Chem, 92. I don't have Legends Chem. I just have him at a 91, but 91 speed, 99 player rec, 99 tackling, 99 block shot, 99 fast move, 94 excel, man. Pretty fast as well. Um, good power move for what it is. 99 hit power as well. 99 hit power. Very, very nice. 97 jumping. 81 stiff arm. Uh, but down here, man, 99 hit power right there. There it is, man. John Randall has uh, minus 10 hit power. So John Randall only has, you know, 89 hit power. So 
um, how did I get Paige? So how did I get him, right? There is a training interval. So Alan Page, if you want to power him up from the 94, you do need 13,000 training. So you do need 13K training in the interval, 13K training, and then the 99 itself. And then I would add secure tackler and out of my way sprinter. Having secure tackler and out of my way is the best way to do on paper to win this game for DTs, okay? Again, guys, I'm going to head out here. I don't want to make the longest video ever. But as for now, man, Alan Page, I used my power-up pass on his 99. So I knew he would be expensive. I used my two passes on Chris Johnson 99 gold and on Alan Page 99 gold, both very cheap. The best running back, the best DT. I think I got good use out of him. Page is fast. He's electric. He bats down balls. 6'4", every inch, baby. Okay? So a very nice card. I'm out. You're out. We're out. I'm going to head out, guys. I'm streaming Seasons later today for Alan Page Gameplay. See you there. Two hours. Bye.